guys, what's going on? So today, in this video, I am going to be talking about the best six muddy water bass fishing lures. Actually, seven. I didn't count that one. Seven best muddy water bass fishing lures. Um, so, as some of you guys know, um, it's been raining a lot. Um, not only here... But it's been raining a lot all over the place. Like, it's flooded a lot of the ponds and creeks and stuff around here. Um, it's been pretty flooded around here. Got a lot of water. You know, it's raining. Uh, it's not raining right now, but it looks like it could at any time. Um, and I couldn't go out there and make a normal video because I don't have my camera thing. Um, I don't have my camera mount fixed up right now. So I decided just to come over here and make a short video like this. So I've got two top water baits, three moving baits, and two bottom baits for muddy water conditions. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first, we're going to talk about top water baits. So my favorite top water baits during muddy water conditions is something that is always moving or something that has bright colors. Um, <coughs> you guys will see here. I like bright colored frogs when it's muddy water. This here is a bullfrog colored, um, what's the brand name again? Uh, I don't have the package here with me. Oh yeah, I do. Ozark Trail. This is in $2 frogs that I've done a video on a while back. These things have been catching some fish. Um, they are great baits. They work perfectly. They walk just as good as any expensive frog out there. So, I got a bunch of them. This one here is in the bullfrog color. And it's green with a little bit of brown towards the back end of the bait. And it's got that bright chartreuse belly. I like that bright chartreuse, especially when it's muddy and there's a little bit of grass or maybe some lily pads or something with that muddier water. I will always throw a bright belly colored frog or a white belly. Um, you know, if I don't have a bright, you know, chartreuse and green frog like this one, here it is. I'll go with a white and brown or a white and black, or maybe just a normal black frog. Those all three work pretty good uh, frog-wise. Another top water bait that I like to throw, um, another one would be a whopper plopper, but I forgot to get the whopper plopper. So, a walking bait. A spook style bait, and it has to be one with rattles. You guys can hear those rattles. It is a pretty loud bait. So I like using moving baits, especially for top water. Um, when it's muddy water because they can see it better they can see it on the top of the water and as you guys know you know this pond here my pond has got only like two inches of visibility it is quite muddy um it's you know usually got about maybe six inches to a foot of visibility and right now it's got maybe two inches maybe even less than that so a big walking bait that is fast moving it's moving all the time works the best has a lot of rattles makes a lot of noise on the top that can, that makes them fish feel that vibration with their lateral line and they just come up and nail it so walking baits another bait would be the whopper plopper <coughs> sorry about that i'm um, just like i was saying the whopper plopper is another great um bait for this style of fishing in the muddier water so getting into moving baits these are baits that are under the surface but are moving reaction style baits number one would probably be a chartreuse black back square bill or any square bill of any bright color um it could be a pure white square bill a chartreuse and blue chartreuse and black uh, maybe a blue and white sh um, square bill those seem to work pretty good this one here is just the one that i grabbed i have a couple other colors that i like to throw in muddier water this is a strike king 1.5 if i remember correctly yeah it's a 1.5 and it's chartreuse with a black back with a little bit of red. That little bit of red will help the fish key in on the bait. Um, so yeah, chartreuse, black back, square bill, or any, you know, brighter color, you know, chartreuse and blue, white and blue, white and chartreuse, anything with a little bit brighter colors. You know, don't go with like a, you know, a blackish, greenish color square bill. Go with something a little bit brighter and that'll key in for them fish. Next is a chatterbait. Now, personally, I rather throw white or white and chartreuse. Now, another good color is black and blue or completely chartreuse. Um, around here, the just complete chartreuse baits 
don't work as good. I had a lot of bites on this square bill before, um, but that's really the only chartreuse, uh, the only main chartreuse bait that I've gotten really bites on. Um, I used to have a all chartreuse spare bait, but I ended up changing the skirt color over because it just wasn't getting me very many bites. So another good color for chatter baits is white or white silver or white chartreuse like this one here is. Got a Strike King uh, blade minnow as a trailer. Another good trailer is some sort of a swim bait or a grub style trailer as well. So personally, I don't usually trim the skirt up on these baits, especially when I'm fishing muddier water. Um, give that bait a little bit bigger profile, a little bit longer um, minnow style profile <coughs> for them fish to see. So another moving bait, this is the last moving bait of the baits we're going to talk about, is a spinner bait. Now, depends on what your fish are feeding on, but what I like to do is always, when it's muddy, have a gold blade. A gold blade on a spinner bait is good in my opinion. I like the gold blades when it's muddy. Um, now the skirt and head and colors, honestly, I don't really know if it really matters that much. Um, it mainly just depends on what your fish are feeding on. If they're feeding on bluegill, then I would go with this style here. This is a Strike King Hack Attack Heavy Cover Bluegill Colored Spinnerbait with those gold Indiana and a gold um, Colorado blade. Honestly, if your fish are feeding on shad, they do have some gold blade um, shad colors as well. But, you know, this one here is just the one that I grabbed out of my tackle box. So, now we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom baits. So, the two bottom baits that I <coughs> normally throw in muddier water conditions is either a black and blue Texas rig crawl style bait like this here. This here is a, uh, what is this, a Yum Christie crawl. It's black blue with a little bit of silver flake. Honestly, I like the silver flake in the black and blue baits just because I like the silverness in it. It makes it stand out a little bit better. And, you know, dark colors stand out a lot better in the water. And another good bait, especially if your pond doesn't have a lot of grass, you know, if it's got some rocks or some trees, a jig. Now, this here is a football jig, and it's a black and blue football jig with a brown and black uh, Docks Lure Company trailer. But if you guys have some trees or something, I would not go with a football head. I would go with a flipping jig. Just because, I mean, they're called flipping jigs for a reason. Uh, the football head just seems to get snagged a little bit more on the trees and stuff. But they work better around rocks or uh, submerged trees. They're not, they're not the good, they're not the best for flipping. So yeah, black and blue for dark colored water. That's just something I've always known. Um, usually during the uh, early spring, late winter. I love to throw black and blue jigs just because there's not much grass on the bottom and they see it a little bit better. And most of the time during that time period, they're not feeding up on shad or bluegill. They're more eating crawls. So I like to go with a jig of some sort. It doesn't really matter the color sometimes. But if it's muddy, I'll go to a black and blue or a white. A white jig is also a great bait because you can use it as a bottom bait or a swim jig. So that's another bait that you can throw as well. I personally have had more luck out of all the baits on this table. A bright colored white chartreuse or black frog. In my opinion, I've caught a lot more fish in muddier water. Another good bait is a chatter bait or the walking bait. Now, you can use whatever brands, versions of these that you want. I'm just showing you guys what I like to throw. You know, I, I have, you know, silent spooks. I have uh, one knocker spooks. I personally like to go with something that has a lot of rattles, something that has multiple noises, and stuff like that. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave it down below if you have another preference in muddier water condition, uh, what other baits that you would add to the list that I have here today. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye.